What's going on YouTube? This is Rich Red doing a little review of the 2015 FC 250. You know, so far, it's been an awesome bike. It's got Brembo brakes. It's got the hydraulic clutch. A lot of premium parts on this bike. Um, this is going to be a real review, though. This is going to be something that you won't see a lot around the internet because a lot of people have to be kind of they have to be kind of nice to the manufacturer. So, but. Seems like a strong running bike. I mean, this thing will rip on top. One thing I don't like right off the bat is they basically used wood screws straight in the plastic on this tank. Kind of a lame deal there. But this thing pulls on top like no other. So the impression I'm getting from the FC250 is on the negative side, it's a little bit heavy and it's a mechanics nightmare to work on. And it is also it's got a plastic subframe, which it looks like it's replaceable up to here, so it shouldn't be too bad to replace, but it's still, that's, I don't know about that. That's pretty bad. This bike is an absolute rocket ship, but among the dislikes on this bike is this right here. You see how that's worn through? This is actually the subframe. Honestly, it looks like there's a screw here and goes up to here. So that's a replaceable, but still, that's a pretty bad design. Um, everything else I love about this bike. Push button, electric start, hydraulic clutch, Brembo brakes. Everything is working really good. The shift, shifting on this bike is so smooth, really smooth. bike in his class. It's a little bit heavy, but really the weight is the only downfall, and the weight is a big deal. Uh, the gearing is way too tall on this. I find that I'm going way too fast in first and second gear. But the, this bike has the motor to support it too. You don't ever feel like you're under power when you're in first gear. this bike is an absolute bear. You can see all these mounting points are all straight to the frame. So most bikes will have some kind of bracket or something like that that you can take off. My 2010 CRF 250R Honda is 226 pounds wet. So and that, you know, that's 10 pounds lighter than this bike, but it feels like a lot more than that. That bike feels really light compared to this one.
Okay, so here's the ultimate test. There's a hill climb over here that I just tried on my 2010 CRF 250R. And there's no way that I could even come close on that bike. So I guess we'll see. I will be pretty shocked if I can climb it. And start out in second and see what happens. Second gear all the way up. This bike is definitely fast. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well, let's go back down. I'm gonna use kind of a weird analogy, but imagine you're riding a horse, and your horse is pretty fast and you're just riding it right along and suddenly you get passed by your buddy who is riding a cow and uh... you're like holy crap that's a fast cow that looks like a ton of fun so you decide to get yourself one of those fast cows faster than any other horse that you've ever seen this cow is just blazing fast well, your first day riding the cow, you realize this isn't very fun. This thing doesn't jump. It just pile drives straight through creeks. It doesn't jump over them. It doesn't change the direction very well. And man, it's a rocky ride. And that's kind of how the Husqvarna FC250 is. Inside a motor, he lives to ride. Keeping calm while riding by. Race a regular, a 204. Race a red, you couldn't ask for more. Napping with his motorcycle by your side. Race a red, is it good at goodbyes? Like, comment, and subscribe today to stay notified and up to date. Race a red.